Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making bath bombs. I haven't made bath bombs in so long and I feel like my channel grew because of bath bombs, so I'm returning to my roots. This bath bomb that I'm attempting today is hopefully going to be an improvement on my other bath bombs. And you might ask yourself, how are you going to improve your bath bomb recipe? Well, people seem to really love how easily the bath bomb comes together, the bath bomb forms into a bath bomb shape. Pretty good. I've gotten lots of good feedback on that. But one thing that I do get sometimes is that my bath bombs sink or my, the recipe that people are using causes their bath bombs to sink. I think I have a solution to that and that's what this video is about. And I'm hoping it works out. So we'll see. And we will demo the final results the following day. So don't worry. So I did one press and it went well. I thought I would turn the camera back on to this angle so I can talk you through it. Just using the knife to stir it up a little bit. And I'm making a lot of pockets, as many pockets as I can so that we can trap some air in there when I press. Okay, I already pressed one so I know it's, it's good. But I wanted to do one live for you guys. And you can see it came together really, really nicely. And this is the ball that you get. I'm trying to hide my face so that you don't see it. And the camera can focus on the actual bath bomb. I love this orange and pink <laughs> combination. It's not your typical, um, it's definitely not your typical Christmas color motif. This was inspired by Lush's popular Snow Fairy fragrance, which they release around Christmas time. And it's a super popular scent, but it's, it's not a typical Christmas scent. It's very fruity. It doesn't bring to mind Christmas and yet they were able to market it that way. So don't feel like you need to be constrained by typical Christmas scents and, and that kind of stuff. I didn't talk about this on my channel, but I did end up buying a dehumidifier, which is, which is over there. And I have it set at 40% humidity. Okay. I'm also trying not to press down too much because I really want to get a fizzy bath bomb. Also, I'm trying a new technique in coloring my bath bombs. You can see that my bath bombs are much more vibrant. I used to be so lazy about coloring my bath bombs. I would just dump in the dye dry <laughs> and I would get a lot of speckled bath bombs, but I don't want to do that anymore. I really want to make sure all that dye is dispersed because what ends up happening is that as the dye dissolves in the bathtub and you have chunks of dye, that might stain the bathtub. So, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Beautiful. I'm really excited that these bath bombs are coming together so gorgeously. Will they dry well? I don't know <laughs> because I did add an ingredient in the beginning that wasn't water and it usually is water that I add at the very beginning to um, to disperse that bath bomb dye, but I tried something else, I tried something different. So I don't know if it'll hot, if it'll harden as, as hard as it does with water because water is a really great hardener for bath bombs. I will say that these bath bombs feel good. Like they feel really good. I'm excited to introduce bath bombs back into my website. People have been asking for them. People have been asking for a lot of things. They've been also asking for um, shampoos, candles, lip balms, all of that is coming back, I promise but it's just gonna take time because I don't have Kale's full-time help anymore. <laughs> He's only able to come and help me part, in a part-time basis. So a lot of these things are just gonna have to come with time. I 
I don't have any embeds in here in these bath bombs. And I don't know if I'm gonna do that, to be honest with you guys. Um, Lush has that patent on there and I'm trying to steer clear of controversy. And I wanna set a good example for people who watch me. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I don't think I need it. I think I'm just gonna do two-toned bath bombs, maybe three-toned bath bombs and see if that art, if that bath art looks beautiful. I might do a hidden color in the middle of the bath bomb. I don't know. But another reason why I don't want to do embeds is because it's a whole separate process to make them. And I'm already so tight on time. My time is a precious commodity. So yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll be doing that moving forward. Because these bath bombs are coming together so well, I think I'm going to attempt another two with different scents for them and then add them to the website so that I can sell three in one go, like a, like a bundle. I think that's the plan here. And I'm gonna use, I have a few uh, winter scents sent to me by Bramble Berry. I think I'm gonna uh, make a bath bomb using one of those. I will tell you, it does feel good to be making bath bombs again. I did make some bath bombs over the summer as kind of one-off projects. And that was fun. And I really, really miss it. Okay, I forgot, I almost forgot. I got this super amazing phone tripod and I love it. It's really helped me create content for my business. So if you guys are thinking about a phone tripod, this one is awesome. I, I have a link down below. So for social media stuff when it comes to bath bombs. What was really popular was when I did the a scene of the bath bomb and then I put a hand in and I squished it. Like that does so well, I don't know why. But that is the opening scene of a bath bomb pressing video got so many more views. I, I don't know why guys, it's crazy. I mean yap in a way like I have all the time in the world. The bath bombs have like a pressing shelf life. I really need to Hurry up a little bit so that they'll continue pressing nicely. Behind the scenes of a social media post and the chaos of it all. I was watching a fun reel from a soaper that I follow. She's awesome, sweet soapery. And she was talking about how we set up our cameras so much because we're so concerned about getting that footage. And then so many times that footage is taken at the wrong angle, arms get in the way, other things get in the way, and it's super frustrating. And I felt her pain because there have been so many times where I've just been <laughs> so concerned about how it looks that I just completely ruined the shot. Beautiful. For those wondering how you keep a bath bomb round, you gotta get one of these um, bath bomb trays. I'll show you it at the end of the sequence. But I get mine from the, I got, I bought mine from the bath bomb press company. And they are, their trays are fantastic. The cavity that the bath bomb rests in allows it to dry in that round shape. So if you are, struggling with your bath bombs deflating or becoming misshapen, get yourself a bath bomb tray. It's quite an investment. I think they were $50 each at the time when I bought them. That was years ago. It's probably more now, but I'm starting to learn that investments made into your business pay back in dividends. So I need to work on doing that more and more. Gorgeous. I'm so happy that they're turning out amazingly. I'm so, can you tell I'm just giddy? I love making bath bombs. I'm so glad I'm doing this on my channel again. It's been, it's been too long. I'm also pretty excited guys about the fact that my Instagram is growing again. There was a long time where my Instagram was so stagnant 
it stayed at a certain number of followers and did not go past that. In fact, every time I posted, I was losing followers. And so I had kind of given up on it. And then recently I just started trying again. <laughs> it took a good month of doing that. And then I started to see an uptick in engagement, in views, in followers. For the longest time, Instagram was only showing my stuff to my followers, which isn't a bad thing. But if you wanna grow, you really wanna get on that explore page, that discover page. And Instagram was not doing that for me. It was not wanting to promote me at all, which made me sad, but just kind of accepted it. So after researching good content and by good content, I mean like seeing what other people were doing <laughs> um, that were being pushed out. After studying that, that's when I finally understood what I had to do and I started doing that. And then my Instagram started to grow. So took a bit of a, it took a bit of homework on my end. And that's the last round one. And I have all this extra, all this extra bath bomb dust. What I'm gonna do with it is make smaller bath bombs that I'll be able to give away as, as extras when people order. I've not been able to give away samples because all of my stuff that I make, I, I sell. <laughs> so the more I make, the more opportunity I'll have to create samples that I can put into the boxes to my customers. So if you're one of those people that ordered and you didn't receive a sample from me, I am so sorry. I'm not stopping that. It's just that I don't have samples to give <laughs> right now. This is the Bath Bomb Press's heart mold. And this is what I use to, to press all the extra um, bath bomb dust in because it just press, it presses bath bomb dust into a bath bomb no matter how little you put in to here. <laughs> At least with my recipe. I'm always super successful with this, with this mold. I'm just gonna alternate the colors. Great, good, fab. Fabulous, oh, now I'm getting a wart. So my bath bombs are getting warts. I pressed it, I flip it over, push it up. And then I have beautiful heart bath bomb. So here are the final pressed bath bombs. You can see how beautifully vibrant the colors are. I've never gotten such vibrancy doing a two-tone bath bomb before and that's definitely due to my new technique that I'm using and you can see that they all pressed perfectly and I'm so excited about that because I am using a new recipe which will hopefully make the bath bombs float. Now I'm gonna press another two cents so that I can have three to be able to add to my website so that people can buy a little bit of a bundle and I will come back once all of that is pressed. And here are the finished bath bombs. I was able to make four different kinds of bath bombs, which is awesome. And I used some Christmas themed scents. So these are just gonna be a very limited edition release. And I hope to have them up on the site by December 4th. This guy gave me a lot of problems. Um, and I think it's because I added the wet ingredients and then I forgot that I hadn't added some of my dry ingredients. So I added the dry ingredients after the wet ingredients and that really made a huge difference in how these, how these bath bombs came together. They kept separating in the middle. So if your bath bombs are doing the same thing, it might be the sequence of which you're adding ingredients because it does make a difference. Weird, I know. <laughs> this one is a Christmas berry. This one is a really fresh snow scent. So I'm thinking of calling it snow day. This one is a rose and mint combination, which is really interesting. And I think I'm gonna call that winter flush or winter blush or something like that. And then this one, which is the snow fairy dupe. I don't wanna completely copy lush. So I'm thinking of calling it snow angel. We'll see, but so glad all of this is done. I'm really, really proud of myself. So that covers the making part of these bath bombs. I still need to demo them and I will do that tomorrow. So see you tomorrow. Hey guys, update on the demo situation. Kale saw the bath bombs drying downstairs and he just couldn't resist. He really wanted to try one out. So we're actually going to demo it later at night. It's 10 30 at night. <laughs> 
And the bath bombs, they are not completely dry, but I'm pretty curious to see how they perform. So I'm gonna demo one of them for you guys and also give Kale a nice bath that he can relax in for the night. This blue one is one that I'm thinking of calling Snow Day because it smells super fresh. was the bath bomb and I am so pleased with how it performed. I love that it floated. I love the beautiful fizz and the gorgeous, gorgeous bath bomb art. It is, this is, this is a great recipe. I'm so, so proud of it. And look at this gorgeous water, this light blue, absolutely gorgeous water. I think Kayla's really going to enjoy his bath. I'm excited to see what he thinks of it. But this is where I'm going to end today's video. If you want the recipe for this pretty cool bath bomb, <laughs> you can find that on my Patreon, which is linked down below. And thank you to everyone who chooses to support me on there. And also to everyone who just watches and comments and likes my videos. All you silent supporters, I appreciate you guys too. And until the next video, keep smiling and keep being awesome. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.